Hello and welcome to this little CCB video blog. Now today I'm going to be telling you how to find keywords that are used on any video on YouTube. Now you might be like, well, how does this help or why would this help me? Well, actually, when I first started on YouTube way back in 2006, every video, when you watched it down the bottom, it had all the tags used, all the keywords. Well, then all of a sudden, you know, keywords became the magic thing. And everybody had their keywords and the way you got noticed was your keywords. And that's, to the most part, the way it is now. I mean, every video, the way it's found and way search engines and all that stuff find it is by the keywords. So somewhere along the way, they took that out. And now you don't see what people use as their keywords. But there is a way, and I'm going to show you right here, to find the keywords that are used on any video. And I said, how does this help you? Well, if you're new to YouTube, or maybe you're just not getting many views and you're wondering like, okay, well, am I using the right keywords? What, you know, how do I know? Well, going to popular channels and well, we're fishing or well, I'm a fishing channel, but any channel, no matter what you do, if you do outdoors, you do hunting, whatever. To go in and say, okay, well, you know, I have my keywords I'm doing, but do these kind of match what other people are using. You know, you're just your thought of, well, maybe I'm not using the right. So, with this, you can go in, you can look at some other popular channels, you can check out what they're using as keywords. And I think that can really help you out because I say you just might not know. Like I use this one when I found this to go in and look and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, my keywords are kind of matching what everybody else is using. You know, so I'm getting there. Maybe I got to work on the titles and the thumbnails and other stuff, but keywords are very important. So, all right, let me just get into how you go about this. Uh, all right. I've always, I've never checked this guy out. I, mean, I probably have. But anyway, let me, let me type in Lunkers TV. Lunkers TV. Okay, here's Lunkers. I'm going to go to Lunkers. And okay. So here are Lunkers. Here's a video by Lunkers. I'll click the video. We'll bring it up. So that's the first step. Finding one of their videos and uploading it. And then I will hit pause. All right, well, I'll skip the ad. How's that? Now I'll click on pause. Okay, so you get in here and you have the video there and you, you take your mouse. You don't put it on the video itself. I usually put it right here. And when you click, you get this little box here and up top it says back, reload, save, print, blah, blah, view page source, inspect. We want to hit view page source. This will load in a sec. And well, you get this. And if you don't know what this is, this is HTML code. This is the code for the whole page. And trust me, if you click up here and you scroll down, you can see that that is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a la 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 a lot of code. So you're thinking, okay, well, you got me in here. Here's the code. Well, inside this code is actually all the keywords they use, um, pretty much everything. The whole, the whole page is in here in HTML code. And so you're in here and you're like, okay, well, you know, to scroll down and try to find the keywords in this mess would probably take you like four hours. But if you come down here and here's the trick right here on your keyboard, you hit control and you hit F. I don't know if you saw that, but right there, this little search box shows up. You got that little search box. You just type in key words and bingo right there. That little highlighted thing is keywords. And you can see it's somewhere in the middle of this, but bingo right there. And then, I mean, it's in the code. So it's got the backslashes and the quotes and all the other stuff, but we get in there. And now we can see what keywords he used for this video. And the first one is fishing. Second one is fishing rod test, fishing rod, ugly stick, googan, googan, rod, goog, ugly. And that's all he used. So he didn't use that many keywords because people always say, oh, you got to fill it up. You got to use all the characters in that. No, here, look, that's it. Fishing, fishing rod test, fishing rod, ugly stick, googan, googan rod, googan, ugly. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He only used nine keywords. 
Because a lot of people think, oh, you get, I don't know how many you can do, like, you get 256 characters or something like that. But yeah, see, he didn't actually use that many. And so uh, let's go back to YouTube. And let's see. Oh, wait, let me go back. And right down here, uh, another popular one. I don't like the guy, his videos too much, but kick their bass TV. Um, again, load the video, pause the video. Did I pause it? Okay. Come over here off to, uh, I said, you, get, you can't go over here. You got to go off or you can come over here. I think and do it too. We go down the view page source. Bingo. Now this time when I do it, keywords will probably already be in the box when I hit control F. Yep. See keywords is already in there. Hit enter. And keywords he used, okay, bass fishing, fishing, frog fishing, frog fishing for bass, frog bass fishing, topwater frog bass fishing, topwater frog fishing, topwater fishing, or what? I lost track. Topwater fishing, topwater fishing, topwater frog, topwater frog blow ups, fishing frogs for bass, fishing frogs, giant bass, giant bass on frogs. Fishing creeks, fishing creeks for bass, fishing videos, fishing videos, bass, bass fishing videos, Lunkers TV, odd he shows him in there, Lunkers TV fishing, Milliken fishing, John B, Flair, fishing with Flair, Lojo fishing, kick their bass TV. Those are all his. He used a lot. And it's obviously a frog fishing video. I didn't even look at what it was, but he has frog fishing in every version you can imagine on here <laughs> but the first two are bass fishing and fishing and then it's all versions of frog fishing, frog fishing so like i said this can be very important to you you can just see how other people do it and yeah well like lunkers kept it kind of simple kick their bass he added everything i've noticed a lot of people too when it's a specific video they'll have Rattle trap fishing, fishing a rattle trap, rattle trap this, rattle trap that, how to throw a rattle trap, how to fish a rattle trap, how to rattle trap, rattle trap in ponds, rattle trap in lakes, rattle trap. They repeat whatever the focus is of the video over and over and over in the keywords. So, uh, yeah. Uh, just something for you guys. I said it used to show up, but now it's sort of the magic keywords and how to get your videos out there and, and searched higher and all that. So, yeah, that's the way you can do it. Like I said, come to the video. Go off to the side, right click, hit trends, uh, hit view page source, and then hit control F, control F, get that little search box, type in keywords, and hit enter, and bingo. You can find the keywords used on any video on YouTube. So there it is. I uh, hope it helps you guys. Like I said, it helped me. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this little video blog of how to find keywords used on any video. They are the magic thing now, and you can see how they're kind of different. You can check a bunch of channels to see sort of trends and everything else. And uh, yeah, until the next vlog, <laughs> please check out our fishing videos and our tips and tricks and our biology bites and come join us live. But uh, yeah, hope this helped. I'm out.